What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here in my backyard because guess what? It's that review you've been waiting for. This is our 2021 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 1LE. But before we get into this supercharged road course handling muscle car, let's talk about what's going on here. The Camaro. It's been around since 1967, if you could believe that. The ZL1 designation. You might think that it's only on the newer Camaros. Nah, nah, nah. You are incorrect in thinking that because the ZL1 has been around since 1969. Now, obviously back in 69, it was all about 427 cubic inches of naturally aspirated horsepower. But fast forward to this 2021, we got LT4 power. That means we're gonna have that 6.2 liter supercharged V8. Now, the great news is, is that with the run of the Camaro, went from 1967 all the way up to 2002, and then it disappeared. But the great news is when it came back in 2010, it came back in a big way and Chevrolet brought some performance along with it. Not only the SS, but the return of the Z28, obviously the ZL1 and this ZL11 LE. Now, when you check off that 1LE box, like I did, what you're gonna get is extra track focus goodness. You're not getting more horsepower. What you're getting, it goes back to the 1980s. The 1980s, SCCA showroom stock racing was on fire, Camaros. Mustangs, the Fox Body Mustangs, Pontiac Firebirds and Trans Ams, all battling out for checkered flag glory. Chevrolet wanted to help out those Camaro teams and Camaro drivers by bringing an actual option from the factory that gave them better brakes, better suspension, and better aero. Well, guess what? All that goodness is in this 2021 ZL11 LE. Now, you have lots of options. If you're looking for a muscle car, Lots of options, obviously Shelby GT500, GT350, the Dodge Challenger, and you could get that Hellcat, Scat Pack, Hellcat Red Eye. Why? Why go? Is this the best muscle car for your hard-earned money, the most unique and the most capable when it comes to overall performance? And of course, hashtag save the manuals because we got a manual transmission. So let's go ahead, let's try to answer all the questions of is this the ultimate muscle car to buy with a 2021 ZL1 1LE. Let's find out. Right off the bat, what drew me to this 2021 was an all new color, wild cherry tint coat. Fits it to a T and it reminds me of my very first car, which was a 1985 Pontiac Firebird, which was sort of like a candy apple red, really kind of brought home those good memories for me. Now, starting at the front end of the business, you're gonna get a totally different front fascia than any other Camaro. Different from the SS, different from the Z28, different from the ZL1. Now, here is that revised headlight housing that they have for that second portion of the latest generation. I like the LED daytime running lamp. You got your projector beam style headlight. Super clean. Working your way down, aggressive. Massive openings to bring air into all those heat exchangers. You have your dive planes and canards to give you that extra arrow on the racetrack. This is all part of the 1LE package. And then that front splitter is massive. You could eat your lunch right off it. Lori's actually gonna eat her lunch right off this corner. I'm eating my lunch off the other corner. Love the way it's got the side, like I said, the side canards, all about directing that airflow and giving us tons of downforce. This car has supercar track performance when you know what you're doing behind the wheel. As we come across, that massive grill area. I remember when the ZL1 first came out on the current generation, I was like, wow, that thing looks intense. And then in 2018, when they brought us the ZL1 1LE, I, was, I just fell in love with it. It just is so aggressive, but also functional. So you're gonna have this massive opening of the grill with the ZL1 badge, gonna bring air for all the heat exchangers, the radiator and brake cooling. So this is all track focused. You'll notice how that front splitter dives down to just scoop up the air like a big snow shovel. And we're trying to stop air from going underneath the vehicle. Something borrowed from the Z28, the Chevrolet Flow Tie. Looking good up top, helps bring more air as they dremel that out. Now I am gonna zonk it. I wish that they would have just went flat black and just made it all seamless in there. And yes, this is my own car. And yes, we will be bringing some zonks, but that is the first zonk is I'm not really into the shiny chrome stuff on the Chevy Flow Tie. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you get a unique style when you go 1LE. You're gonna get this flat black with the carbon fiber 
functional heat extractor, so we're gonna bring in cold air, we're gonna drag all that hot air out. I do like the ZL1 badge on the cow portion of that carbon fiber hood. Looking really good, looking really clean. When we come around the bend, you don't wanna cut your leg open on these dive planes, but when we come around the bend, you're gonna get specific wheels and tires. So these are forged aluminum, 19 inch. They're actually smaller than your standard ZL1, which is a 20 inch wheel. And the reason why is it gives you a, a greater variety for some track tire options. But I like the split spoke design. You're gonna get those massive tomato red, just like a big old jar of pasta sauce, bright red Brembo six piston calipers with the ZL1 1LE badge on there. Gonna clamp down on rotors that are over 15 inches in diameter and true two piece rotors. So you can see that separate hat that the rotor is bolted to, fully ventilated, and then if you're wondering if this has Magna Ride suspension, it does not. It actually has a special spool suspension developed by Multimatic Race Team at all four corners. Not only does it cut weight, but it really helps you get that track tuning that you want to make this thing handle like no other Camaro before it. We're, we're wearing Eagle F1 tires. This is a track-focused tire. Obviously able to drive on the street, but more of a track focused tire, but definitely the flat black with the wild cherry just makes my heart pitter patter. Going into the fender, no Camaro badge, super clean. You're gonna get flat black on your mirror caps. And then of course you're gonna get that concept car. When the 2010 Camaro first hit the showrooms, it looked just like the concept car, that low roof line. We'll talk about blind spots and all that good stuff once we get to the interior, but you're gonna get that massive side sill help channel the air down the side of the vehicle. Now up front, the tires are a little bit more narrow. Wheels are a little bit more narrow because we're talking about turning. We're talking about quicken up the turning, less rotating mass. Each corner is about 13 pounds less rotating mass. Now when we get to the rear, we want grip because we got rear wheel drive. So these tires, 325s. On my Shelby GT350R, they don't even have 325s. So this is a 325 steamroller of a tire. I'm going to have Lori kind of swoop around and just show how that tire extends past the rear fender. Looking really sexy. Talk about sexy. To top it off, we have this full carbon fiber rear wing produces over 300 pounds of downforce. It's a pedestal style. I am going to zonk it. It's not adjustable. So some tracks you go to, you might not want as much downforce. You cannot adjust it with this fixed position, but it does look damn good. At first, I didn't like the uh, you know, water goggle style LED taillights, but they've grown on me. This was part of that change in 2019 and really liking what they did with the clear, kind of smoked it out. I'm still gonna zonk the ZL1 down here. They really should have just put that right here. The ZL1 would have looked a lot better. And then of course, you're gonna get that GM performance exhaust, make it louder, make it quieter. You get to choose. I say just make it loud and let that V8 scream. You're gonna get 373 gears with an electronic limited slip diff. Coolers, and I'm not talking about beer coolers. I'm talking about diff cooler, engine oil cooler, all those different heat exchangers to keep the temperatures down. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood to my Camaro ZL11LE and see that LT4 power point. All right guys, we got the hood popped. Unlike a Shelby GT350, you do have hood struts to hold up the hood. This is that heat extractor I was telling you about. Now, when you go to the track, you actually remove this to allow even more air to be pulled from underneath the engine. And speaking of engine, there's that LT4. I love that top mounted supercharger, the way that it has the supercharged LT4 badge. And you'll notice built in Bowling Green, Kentucky, you got one guy and one guy only that hand assembled this LT4 V8. So thank you, John, for your awesome work. But what are we looking at? You're looking at push rod power. 650 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque. So when you compare that to the GT500, when you compare that to the Challenger Red Eye or Hellcat Red Eye, we are coming up short on horsepower. But where we are gonna make up for it is in overall weight. But you get a choice of a six-speed manual, 10-speed automatic. We decided, like I said, here on Rady's Rides, hashtag save the manuals. That means if you know how to dance on your twinkle toes, zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds, Quarter mile, this is not a quarter mile car, but it will still do the quarter mile in 11.9 seconds. And top speed is 190 miles an hour. 
where it comes out a winner is it comes in at 3,800 pounds. MPGs, who really cares about that when you're talking about muscle cars that have superchargers, but you're looking at 14 in the city, 20 on the highway. We have that Multimatic spool valve damper system up top. You can see that there's no wires that are going to our shock absorbers because these are fully adjustable with the right tools. We have adjustable sway bars. And when you're thinking about it, this car actually weighs 24 pounds less than the Z28 compared to a standard Camaro SS or ZL1, you're looking at over 100 pounds less. But really just underneath the hood, one of the things that makes my heart pitter patter is there's no plastic. There's no covers. You see exactly what you want when you want to see it. The bracing up front, one hell of a setup. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire up this beast and hear its roar. guys, wearing my very own Camaro ZL1 1LE. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, you love Challengers so much. You love those Hellcats and those Hellcat Red Eyes. I've been looking at Challengers and Chargers and everything else, and even GT350s and GT500s. I'm starting to like this ZL1 1LE, especially because it's got a six-speed manual. But why did you get it, Joe? Why did you get this car? Well, you know, there's a lot of different reasons, a lot of great cars out there. If I could, I would have one of everything but I had to be very decisive. And what I wanna do now is I wanna take you through the interior and show you why I went with the Camaro ZL11 LE. Let's go to the door panels and find out. First of all, I love the way they did the Alcantara material at the top of the door panel with the red contrast stitching. Work your way down, more Alcantara. And what's really great is that when you go higher trims on the SS or the ZL1 or the 1LE, you see that silver trim there? There's actually LED lighting and there's about 640 different colors that you could go through, which gives you a little bit different experience. And of course, you got the Bose sound system. Now going from the door panel to the dash, I am gonna have to zonk the hard plastic. The good news is no glare, but it's just very, very hard plastic. I do like the addition, how they brought the Alcantara material to in front of the area where the passenger sits with the red stitching. And then you are gonna get an eight inch infotainment system. I do like the Challenger Uconnect 4 system. I like Dodge's system the best, it's easiest to use. But this eight inch system is also easy and where you're really gonna get the big plus is on the camera quality. GM does a great job with the clarity of their backup cameras. And this also has the digital rear view mirror. We went with the performance data recorder for when you're doing your track day. You're gonna get in a ZL1 1LE, ventilated seats and heated seats, dual climate control. I, I've always liked the way you can control the AC with the trim rings on the Camaros. And what's interesting, if you look at the Shelby GT350, Shelby GT500, you can't get heated or cooled seats if you go with the Recaros. We have Recaros and they're heated and cooled. Some more Alcantara, hard plastic in the center, but the great news is we're going six speed manual, Tremec transmission, nice short throws, crisp engagement, Alcantara on the shift knob, shift boot, and that beautiful uh, top of the shift knob with the shift pattern. I just said shift about 25 times. If you've been counting, you win a prize. Silver trim, we go through the different modes. I'll show you more about that when we get to the business end. I am gonna zonk the placement of the 12 volt. For me to run, run a radar detector, the cord, just it's a long stretch, it's just not very clean. So we are gonna zonk that. Two cup holders, hard as a rock on the armrest, and then the other bad news, maybe two Twinkies. Do not go three because you're gonna get cream all over my beautiful interior. Speaking of beautiful, those Recaros. Love the material, the Alcantara, the stitching, ZL1 with the Recaro badge there. And you're gonna get nice bolstering, even on the bottom portion, nothing too tight that's gonna squeeze you but just enough to hold you in place. And like I said, we went with the optional red seat belts. That's an additional five horsepower. That's why I had to get that. And then on top of that, you do get the digital rear view mirror. Speaking of headroom, I know that's always been a, a touchy subject. And yes, I'm not gonna lie to you. Compared to the others, 
it's a little tight in here when it comes to overall visibility. But once you're in looking out the windshield where you want to go, it's not too bad. Plus the technology, the digital rear view mirror, the great backup system to kind of warn you what's going on. That also is a big plus. And you have rear seats, which I am zonking the rear seats, believe it or not. I think on a track focused car, no rear seats, but what the Chevrolet engineers said is that they wanted to keep it close to the original 1LEs, which were supposed to be showroom stock with all the showroom things that you get when it comes to seating. Only difference, the suspension bits, brakes, and all the goodies that make you faster on the track. But why don't you come over here? I wanna show you behind the business end where hopefully you'll be able to cut those faster times in this Camaro ZL1 1LE. All right, guys, business time. You do have two memory seat settings. I love the way you have that Camaro script. This lights up LED lighting with the good old red, white, and blue foot box. We got WeatherTech floor mats. You do have a plastic dead pedal. I am going to zonk that. It would be nice to have aluminum, but you have aluminum on the clutch, brake, and throttle. And then the overall seats, I'm six feet tall. Once you're in, you got plenty of room. You got plenty of headroom. Put the helmet on, do your track day. Nice bolstering. Steering wheel, Alcantara wrapped, flat bottom. I like the way they brought the ZL1 badge in and the way they went Camaro rather than just having the Chevrolet bow tie. And you'll notice that we have paddles on the back of the wheel. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, why are there paddles on the back of the wheel? This is a manual. This is to turn on and off the automatic rev match. I am going to zonk that because sometimes when you're driving, you might bump into this by accident. You're going to downshift. And if you're thinking that the car is going to downshift for you, you're going to be in some trouble. So what I do is I like to leave it off for the most part and do my own heel toe downshifting. But gauges, you're going to get a nice, large analog tachometer, analog speedometer. That's all I need. And then you have that beautiful digital display with all the readouts, tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And you got probably one of the most killer head up displays, tack, G forces, the whole shabam. But why don't we go ahead? We're not doing back seat. I didn't buy this car for a back seat. And if I could have got it without a back seat, I would have. Trunk is a no go. If you're looking for trunk space in your muscle cars, go with a Challenger. This, you could barely put a loaf of bread and maybe a jar of peanut butter back there. But if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle in my Camaro ZL1 1LE. All right, guys, here we are. Ready for the twisty bits in the Camaro ZL1 1LE. Gonna be a wonderful ride. On throttle, here we go, yeah! <laughs> yeah! Woo here we go. Wow! The steering feel is so on point. Here we go. Nice and balanced. On those massive Brembos. Nice. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. <sighs> this car is all about the doing. It's like, you get it. You understand why the ZL1 with that 1LE package brings so much to the table. Even though we're talking about the same horsepower as a ZL1, it's all the bits that they put that track, focus, engineering, technology, all of that all comes together for the big picture. And I'm telling you right now, from a slow roll, getting power to the ground, even with those 325s, is a bear. That's the kind of torque and the power that this thing delivers. The steering input, it's like you start to think it, and then you're already going, you're already turning. Unbelievable. All right, guys, if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. God, the freaking thrust from that supercharged V8. Here we go. Rev it out. Oh my God, this thing, look at this. 
that's all I gotta say. I need to take a break. I need to catch my breath. That was, that was something special. All right, guys, once again, here we are on throttle. Look at the cows over there. Look at this. Heck yeah, this is what it's all about. Oh my God. I'm telling you right now, this car is something special. So different from the Shelby. So different from the Shelby. But like I was saying, it's just so much more in tune. You really have to be focused with what you're doing. It's it's a track beast. This thing is freaking out of this world. On throttle, here we go. Holy. On those brakes. Look at this. Here we go. Nice. Yeah! <laughs> oh my God, the power of this thing is out of control. Just so freaking out of control. I'm just so glad to be able to share this with you. It is that special of a car. That special, it just speaks to you, just raises your whole senses and sensation. Phenomenal. All right, guys, one more time for you, one more time for me. On throttle, here we go. so quickly on the brakes this, here we go here we go <laughs> is it perfect no uh, you know some of the things to the interior could definitely be changed I say go rear seat delete personally, but damn man, it is a track weapon. I totally get why this is a supercar killer and it is that much quicker than the Shelby. I'm sorry Shelby fans out there, it's that much quicker. And it takes even more focus to get the job done. But that's what I love. I love about being connected to the car, the way that this car makes you feel. Extra special, extra special to share it with you. Can't do it without you guys. But uh, we'll, uh, we're gonna wrap this one up even though I'm not ready to and I'll see you back where it all began. See you in a split second. All right guys, it's been one of those days that really makes me so proud of what we are able to share here on Radies Rides. Thanks to everybody's support. Radies Rides continues to be that channel here on YouTube to bring that awesome on-throttle experience. Thank you for letting me share the experience of this Camaro Z01 1LE with you. Obviously, it's your wallet, but for me, it was all about the complete package. Having the availability of a six-speed manual transmission still, having that track focus for the road course, which has always been something that's made my heart pitter patter, wild cherry tint coat, and that supercharger wine really makes it a very, very special muscle car. And I highly recommend if you're looking for the ultimate, you want to give one of these a test drive. But if you want to keep seeing manual transmissions, lots of horsepower, lots of on throttle excitement on Radies Rides, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back to, for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just like this for you, click the first link, become a Radies Rise Patreon member. Click the second link, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to Lori, working that camera like a champ, getting every angle out here in the Florida sun. Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.